right, GT350R. Already got a few upgrades since I drove this one last. We're actually here in Texas. And then we're gonna road trip back to uh, my neck of the woods in Tennessee. Uh, we're doing a Hell Horse Twin Turbo Kit. Pretty much the same one that's on my car, but it's gonna be GT350 spec. So a little bit bigger of an intercooler. This has a new clutch, has an NGW new shifter, getting ready for all the extra power. Oh, that is way, way different. I'm trying to get used to it. It's harder than The clutch know. feels good though. Yeah. I miss driving a manual sometimes. Oh yeah, that clutch is definitely different. We're good. If there's any manual Mustang ever that I ever buy again, because I've been ruined by the 10 already, the 10 speed and what they can do on the track in a straight line, it would definitely be one of these. It's just, there's something special about them. Just that high revving, naturally aspirated V8. If you've never driven a GT350, you're really missing out. I mean, it's kind of a bucket list thing. Oh, this clutch is different. So crazy to look up here, see a giant spoiler in the back. But we're actually on our way to uh, get some tires on this thing right now. Yeah, we gotta get some tires on this. He's got some R triple eight R's going on all four corners, I believe. Yeah, that's that's definitely notchy. Very very precise. Discount tire. We're here, got a Mantic clutch in here to get ready for the power that we're about to throw at this car. We're gonna get out of here and change some tires and then uh, we will get on the road. I have it, the, the tool needed to right. the wheel lift up. Because of the oh, we have, no, we have, yeah, can y'all leave? Uh, oh man, such a beautiful car. He's got the bronze wheels on him and in person it looks good this is a black car interesting though this is uh blue matte blue with a red pinstripe but with the bronze wheels it looks really good love this car i've been in gt350s so many times and this this is special it feels so good man with the shifter yeah, and the clutch yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the thing is is like you've got when you're about to do what we're about to do with this car yeah you can't cheap out on certain things. No, way different. Way different. And then when you do the MGW shifter, it's like very precise. Like it's easy to miss this shift because if you're not in the notch, very close. It's yeah. very. They're very close. They're together. very closely it's gated. Shifter. Um, and then and then also too with the clutch now, I feel like it shifts the way it should have from the factory. You don't have that clapping sound. Like you can hear some external noises from outside. Yeah. But on the inside, the car is still on point you know it's, it's, it's just like it should have perfect been it's perfect you know because i've been i've driven the 2020 500 yeah yeah i would still probably buy one of these you're a it's, purist yeah you like the manual for instance like this is a manual i've always had since i bought the car the goal was always to do a twin turbo build you know it, it's a fun car but imagine it with 800 plus rear wheel horsepower on basically waste gate. It's gonna be a riot. One day I will own an R. And I one day I may sell this. Oh well dips. I will hook yeah yeah and I'll give you a deal. I'll give you five bucks right now. No. <laughs> Got our thing. Oh look at those. I have uh this is my first time seeing the uh R triple eight R's in person. That's an aggressive tire. Look at the side blocks. There's a angry looking so 325 30 19 and look at that crazy because not even a drag radial but this is like the tire to have they're super sticky i'm gonna steal this car i got new tires you ain't gonna catch me tires are more than just rubber they're part of your suspension your braking system all that what the f are you doing do you try to hit me wow so um texas drivers i guess i don't know that dude came like dangerously close um, anyway, so got that on camera for you, Jack. This MGW shifter is so worth it. So great. All right, no tire spinning. That's good. We hooked up. A little haze under the tires there. I need one of these in my life. The new 500, the 2020 500 is really cool, but. 
a back to basics manual with a little bit of horsepower and we're about to add a whole lot more come on this is a 19 so it's got the gen 2 voodoo it's got all the carbon fiber trim vino audio system so a lot of that luxury that was missing in the first couple of years of production they've added back in so you got the nice alcantara the different color on the seats here the red and the black love it such a perfect vehicle i can't say anything bad about it honestly so silly we're about to throw like double the horsepower at this thing it's gonna be so silly mine's fast car too same turbo kit but something about having a manual transmission it's a lot of fun a 15 hour trip we're gonna get started early in the morning and take this thing back to my hometown Tennessee where I live big things to come wind turbo kit is getting installed in the next couple of days guys lots of content if you uh, want to see something like this it's a GT 350 R that is twin turbo big 64 67 it's very interesting this is the only one in the world that's gonna be like this as of right now during the time of this filming let's give one last little look at it love the build so very excited to be able to turn some wrenches on this guy and get her boosted it's gonna be fun can't wait i need to buy one of these i love love the shelby gt 350r absolutely do it's so crazy because you know my mustang it's so crazy but i just can't stop with this one it's a this is a special car it's a halo car it's not the fastest thing in the world but it's it's not yet it's brutally fun these wheels man they look so much better in person like you see it on pictures on video and stuff yeah, 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 and you're kind of like ah, i don't know how i feel about the bronze on the black with the blue stripe but in person it's fire dude yeah yeah well it looks good there's some there were some there were some people you know when i put it on that you know well guys it's so it's a 350r they come with a carbon fiber factory yeah. wheel option yeah, yeah, yeah. now the thing is a lot of people daily these cars and you run I, into I things like curbs and potholes yeah. and stuff like that you don't want to ruin your good track wheels exactly so you buy something like this which is a I hate to use the term but a knockoff you yeah, know what yeah. i mean basically so they, well they are replica wheels and, and one yep. of the, what, my principle behind it is because you know uh i drive my cars a lot right. i mean i drive my camaro a lot my truck this car so, and my wife drives it. And the last thing I wanted to do was to pull, there's a guy named Tunnel Chaser here on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Vinny, where you been, man? Not making content. Like, let's go, man. Yeah, you got the, so, you got that so, beautiful so he, you know, Vinny ran across and yeah. he broke it off in that, uh, that Repco wheel. You know what I mean? <laughs> he did. And it, it was an emotional, traumatic event. Uh, there's another guy, Austin, who has what? Speed Phenom or Speed whatever. Speed Phenom, yep. Yeah, and he cracked the wheel. So, you know, grand story short, like, if it's going to happen, Murphy's Law is going to happen. Every, I'll tell you this, God's honest truth, and I've seen a lot, every single 350R, doesn't matter if it's been abused or just moderately driven on the streets, that I have personally seen, carbon fire wheels break there off. are small cracks in the carbon. Yep, I didn't want to like have a black car. Right, yeah, that too. Wheels. Like, yeah. That's so like 1989 Batman. I love it, man. I love the offset. It's, uh, I, I'm a big fan of black wheels. But I am, I am for this look as well. I think it grows on you. It does. At first, like when I first did it, people were like, "Man, you're higher than a draft, you know what, on stilts." Right. And I said, "Just <laughs> work with me." You know what I mean? But now, after a while, people were like, "Okay, that it adds a little bit of flair to the car." I tell you, you will not mistake this car. Stripes when I first got the car. Oh, I love it. Um, because it was just different. You know what I mean? I love it. But now it, it just. It, it just gives some flair. Then we got some red accents around that kind yep. of tie it in the Brembo brakes. Uh, you know, even my advertisement is all in the same color as color match. Inside, you got the red leather, the, not red leather, but the red Recaro seats, it's... the carbon fiber axis on the thing. So for, you know, when you buy an R, I mean, they really do, they do you right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, like I said, there's no, you will not find any other car like this in the world. No, man, it's great. What, but you will not find for the money a car that handles, reacts. It's probably the best car I've ever owned. Like, honestly, because on a road course, this is when the thing comes alive. I'm not a road courser. I'm not like Serpent Sayings. I can't drive it like that. But I can tell you that this car handles better 
than any other car I've ever had in my life. Well, this is also coming from a, an owner of a ZL1 as well, automatic 10 speed, that yeah, has built 800 wheel somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah, 800 wheel, uh, um, 772 torque. Um, yeah, so. On a bad tune. It still needs a refresh tune on it. Point I'm trying to make is we have a lot of power here, automatic. This is a straight line car. Yeah, yeah. And we're straight line people. We do a lot of drag racing, but this is. Um, Guys, I mean, really, no words, honestly. Yeah. And the tires do really well, man. They do. I was impressed uh, just for that short little drive. So, so my I, point is, I make the payments every. Everybody day. builds their cars differently. Yeah. This one is getting all the love that you see here, plus the twin turbo kit that we're about to install here in a couple of days. So get ready, like I was saying. But uh, yeah, man, I'm a big fan of the build. I cannot wait to help you modify this thing, yeah, and uh, maybe it will be just about as fast as mine. We shall see. We shall see. So we will test that. <laughs> Thank you.